Today, y'all, Mr. Sheepalee with Sheepalee Homestead feeding the chicks. We are outside checking on the birds, taking a peek, making sure these ones are all doing good. Feeding them some pasta right now. Leftover pasta, some Kaiser buns. These ones are all doing pretty good. One smaller buff right there. But the other buffs are doing good. That's a roux. I haven't named them yet. And there's the other roux. That one I was going to name Griffin. I'm not sure yet. Might call the two of them Bert and Ernie. So like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. His name's going to be Bob. He's beautiful Moran. Such a pretty bird. So I bought them some turkey grower, which is a little bit higher in protein. So I switched their feed over to that. I feel like I, that was a mistake I should have uh, shouldn't have made. Uh, you know, now I won't make it again because now I know there's such a thing. So, I mean, we have game bird uh, feed, which is a little uh, little less percentage of protein. I believe it's around uh, I want to say 19 or 17. I can't remember exactly, but it's around 17 or 19 percent. And then we have the the turkey feed, which is uh, which is 20 percent to help the turkeys grow big. So. These aren't turkeys, but they are heritage breeds, and they're they're a dual breed, and they they get pretty big. So I want them to bulk up. I've, I feel like that's why they're uh, that's why they're not doing so well because uh, they weren't growing. Like these ones are growing, but the other ones were were lacking. So. Anyway, these ones eat good. I brought mealworms for them. They were all eating mealworms. They don't seem to really like the mealworms. I know the hens, I gave some to them earlier whenever I went to get the eggs, and the hens just loved them. That Moran needs to grow a lot more to be bigger than that buff, uh, than the lavender here. She's huge. Bob's nice. A little paler comb, though, but I like his comb to be a little bit redder, but... I don't know what's all what's all over his uh, mouth. Looks like feathers. So I just put down a, bu a bunch of bedding. I'm thinking of literally putting a whole bag down. I'm going to leave them eat first. And uh, later on tonight after the kids go to bed, I'm going to um, come out and put half a bag in each 4x4. Four I really love this tent, uh, this grow tent idea for anybody looking uh, to have chicks in the winter time. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say ideal, but it does work pretty good. It doesn't really smell that bad. Um, you know, if you keep your bedding down, it's very simple to, uh, to manage. It's only four by eight. I do have another tent uh, next to this one that's a four by four. Um, I was also thinking that a person could take the 4x8 and have it for your hens and the 4x4 four four, if you wanted to separate them you know once they get big enough to sex you can put your roosters in the 4x4 four, uh, four four until you decide you want to call them or put them in a separate pen or do whatever you want to do with them so I ended up calling mine the only ones I kept were the ones that I wanted to breed so like I said I might uh, I want to breed Bob for sure he's a, he's a Moran Hopefully Marley uh, eats and gets big. I need her to do good. I would like to get some more Moran eggs. So that's kind of, that's my plans for uh, for about April. Um, these girls here, well, I don't know if that's a girl or a boy yet. She looks like a girl, just with a little bit of uh, cheeks. But 
anyway the, these white ones i'm going to be looking at uh, selling now these ones were bred uh, with a blue layer so they are lag horns bred with uh cream lag bar so i don't know what color their eggs are going to be and honestly i would love to keep them and and you know see for myself because they might turn out to be really nice she does have a little bit of brown in her but that one there is another one that's gonna be up for sale this one here too and i have one more in the house and that's all i have left of my 14 so i ended up with one hen that one there i don't know has a little bit of a little bit of red hard to tell all of my hatchings were like uh, much harder to sex than uh, like the orpington showed his uh, comb right away and so did the buff the buff uh, showed once he got big enough you taking a Taking a video, right? Mm -hmm. I swear, if you crow, you're gonna die. Yeah, I just can't keep you. I'm sorry. Some of them, even at this stage, they're uh, 11 weeks old, and uh, well, some are 11 weeks, 10 and 11 weeks. And if you uh, rub the back of their, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the back of their tail, they'll shake just like the adults do. So I found that pretty, uh, in, uh, pretty nifty thing to do if you're trying to uh, figure out the sex, you know, because a, a rooster ain't going to do that. Yeah, they just shake just like this one just did. Anyway, they pretty well ate all that already. So these ones are doing good. I'm glad. It warmed up a little bit for the week, so. Thankfully it did. Anyway, hope you're all having a good night. Just did a quick video. I'm out. See us.